COPD is a treatable condition and we have a range of options in our treatment armamentarium that help us to individualize the treatment approach for our patients with COPD. The Global Initiative for Chronic Obstructive Lung Disease, or GOLD, has had a tremendous impact on the diagnosis and management of COPD over the last 20 years. In the current 2019 report, GOLD has outlined the goals for treatment of patients with COPD, and these include reducing symptoms and reducing risks, preventing and treating exacerbations, and hopefully preventing both disease progression and reducing mortality. All patients with COPD should have smoking cessation counseling and support if they're actively smoking, and influenza and pneumococcal vaccination, good nutrition, and exercise programs, or pulmonary rehabilitation. According to the COPD Foundation recommendations, evaluation of seven severity domains further informs treatment. These domains include spirometry, regular symptoms, which can be evaluated with a tool such as the COPD assessment test, the CAT, or the Modified Medical Research Council, MMRC Breathlessness Scale, exacerbations, oxygenation, emphysema, chronic bronchitis, and comorbidities. The GOLD recommendations provide guidance for informed decision-makings for COPD medications. The COPD Pocket Consultant Guide from the COPD Foundation, now available as an app on cell phones, either through App Score or Google Play, attempts to provide a simplified approach to management. Referring to the Pocket Consultant flowchart, one can see that symptom severity based on CAT or MRC plus frequency of exacerbations leads to different pharmacologic treatment pathways. For patients with mild symptoms and few exacerbations, yet with persistent symptoms when just using a short-acting bronchodilator, a long-acting muscularinic is the recommended therapy. For patients with mild symptoms and more frequent exacerbations, the treatment options include a LAMA, a LAMA plus a LABA, or a LABA plus an ICS. There is increasing evidence that combination LAMA plus LABA is more effective than any single agent alone without increased side effect burden. In those patients with more severe disease with exacerbations, especially those with hospitalizations, and for those patients who continue to struggle despite combination therapy, it may be appropriate to move to a triple therapy with the addition of an inhaled corticosteroid. It is important to note that the primary role for inhaled steroids in patients with COPD is exacerbation prevention, and there may be opportunities to step down from ICS use based on reduced exacerbation frequency. Several recent studies have looked at blood eosinophil counts as a biomarker to predict the effect of ICS added on to bronchodilator therapy on exacerbations in patients with COPD. Generally, these studies have shown that the eosinophil count in the blood is low, such as less than 100 to 150 cells per microliter, that there is probably much less of a treatment benefit with ICS on exacerbations. The higher the eosinophil count, particularly values over 300, the more likely patients may benefit from inclusion of ICS for prevention of exacerbations. For patients on triple therapy who continue to have exacerbations, therapeutic options including the addition of refumulast or a macrolide such as azithromycin to current therapy. Specific medication choice within a given category, such as a LABA, a LAMA, a LABA, LABA, or an ICS LABA, is based on shared decision-making, taking into account consideration of patient preferences and capabilities related to delivery devices metered dose inhaler, dry powder inhaler, or soft mist inhaler, dosing frequency, cost, and any potential drug interactions based on medications for comorbid conditions. Patient education is critically important to ensure proper inhaler technique for any inhaled therapy prescribed. Inhaler technique and adherence to therapy should be rechecked at each visit to confirm correct use and before concluding that the current therapy is ineffective. The COPD Pocket Consultant Guide app includes a section on medications with a listing of the options within a given class and inhaler education videos for inhaler therapies approved for the treatment of COPD. According to the Gold Strategy document, once therapy is initiated, patients should be assessed for attainment of treatment goals. This sets up a continuous management cycle with review of symptoms and exacerbations, assessment of inhaler technique, adherence, and non-pharmacologic approaches and adjustments as indicated, such as escalation or de-escalation of therapy, changing inhaler device or drug. This is, after all, a treatable disease.